I broke through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows ecrastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin. I have a fun episode today. Fun movie, fun episode. Um, and I'm joined by Matt Pittman. Piedmont. 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 Pittman's a better name, but, I'll, but Piedmont. Piedmont, yeah. I like that. It's got a little like pizzazz to yeah. it. And Andrew Steele, yep. the writer and director of Casa de Mi, de Mi Padre. I'm trying to get this right. Well um, and you guys probably produced and all sorts of other stuff as well. But those, producer, yeah. but those are the big ones that you guys are responsible <clears throat> for. Um, People might know this film as the Will Ferrell movie in which he speaks Spanish throughout the entire movie. This is kind of a, a wild thing because you guys come from a Saturday Night Live background, so, you know, skits and all that stuff are nothing big for you, but how exactly do you, you know, approach a movie given the history of, you know, Saturday Night Live and movies? There's been sort of uh, some successes, some failures. Do you guys think about that kind of stuff as you make your sort of, you know, big theatrical steps out yeah. into the world? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, hopefully we succeeded, but we definitely did not want this to be a movie where someone said it's, it's an extended sketch. We definitely wanted it to be, you know, long on story. And uh, we hope we pulled that off, but it definitely is in the back of your mind. You don't want to, especially when you're getting close to parody, which we tried to avoid too much parody here. When you're doing parody, you really don't have you know, uh, Mel Brooks did it a few times, and I think he did it geniusly, but I, I think it's very hard to, to get more out of that than a sketch sometimes. And uh, we made a real effort to try to not do sketch. I think bringing in Matt so visually, we had something more exciting than parody, and, and I think all of that sort of adds up to what we think is a complete film. And, you know, you, you talk about, you know, parody and all that sort of stuff. I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't describe it as parody. But how do you sort of, like, you know, balance all those elements of, like, parody, you know, homage to sort of telenovelas, all that sort of stuff, as well as trying to be a funny comedy at the same time? Because it seems like there's a lot of different ways this film could have been. How do you sort of navigate the complexity of, you know, embracing them all while not becoming, I guess, the slave to any of them? Yeah. Well, that's a good point. I think, you know... Andrew and I share uh, love of, of, of classic Hollywood cinema and uh, westerns and like, films of Sam Peckinpah and, you know, even some trippier stuff like Alejandro Jodorowsky films, uh, uh, you know, for the trip out sequence. And so I think it, it, you make it your own. I, I think because none of the shots in there would be a direct, you know, replication of shots in the movies. But like with Wider Shade of Pale that the mm. wedding singer sings, that was in the Scorsese movie. So it's a little, right. it's a little nod. Um, you know, obviously the shootouts are, are kind of a little nod to Peck and Pop, but they're also, you know, you, it'll be different every time. So I think it's just kind of embracing your style uh, that we like and putting those things in a blender. And what it comes out is always going to be different. So it's, I mean, you guys made some very interesting decisions about this movie. You know, like you talk about like your homages and stuff to Sam Peck and Pop. Like you guys did a lot of like, you know, uh, serious camera setups and stuff. And then at the same time, you take someone like Will Ferrell, who's known for being an improv king. And you basically don't have him improv because, I mean, right. speaking Spanish, like, it's sort of these weird dynamics that you wouldn't necessarily think for a film like this, but you made some interesting decisions. How exactly does sort of the evolution of this film occur? Because, you know, it's it's very unconventional, but in sort of an interesting and creative way. I'll let Andrew answer, but I, I say basically anything that has proven to be big money in the past, we said let's do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is the problem. Uh, no, I mean, we, we you know... If we're going to make a weird movie, you know, it's sort of like when S at SNL, you know, both of us wrote very popular sort of front of the show pieces, political pieces. And then when you get that chance to write a weird sketch, you wrote a weird sketch. And so when we get a chance to do an offbeat movie, we're not going to try, you know, we love that creative freedom. Let's, let's surprise people with something a little strange. And so that process from the very beginning was, Will said he wanted to do a Spanish movie and and I wasn't going to write a parody of telenovela. That just wasn't going to be fun for me. It was like, oh, let's, how many left turns can I make? You know, th that'll be the fun thing. I, I mean, I imagine, you know, if Will Ferrell comes to you and is like, I want to make a movie with you guys, it's kind of hard to say, like, no thanks. But, I mean, this is sort of, you know, stepping out into that theatrical world. When you're approached with an idea sort of this unconventional, do you have any reservations right before away, doing it? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people I think did, and I did too. I because I didn't. I was really afraid of that sort of parody and that sort of like this is an extended sketch thing. 
but I was driving around LA and just sort of it sort of slowly dawned on me that there was a lot of things that could happen within this a lot of fun that could be had and that was what excited me and I knew I started sending reference stuff back to Matt and Matt would send me stuff and then we got really excited about all the fun we could have you know in this process and that's sort of why it you know happened you know, I've, I've talked to directors and stuff during this festival, and, you know, some of them have had gaps in their resumes and stuff in filming, and, you know, they talk about going to, like, director jail and stuff, and, you know, you're doing an unconventional film. Do you worry about, you know, defining what people think of you? Like, you know, it's like, oh, that's Matt. You go for to him for, like, the crazy films well, or something like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, I would... Matt's already in director's jail, so... Now <laughs> yeah, no, I've been in director's good. jail since I started. Uh, no, it doesn't... It, honestly, because... I can stand by every frame of the movie, and I, I feel like, uh, honestly, every time you do anything, when we make a lot of stuff, and so when you, when you do that, and, it, and it's fun, um, the victory is, I mean, I can stand by every frame of this movie, I know Andrew can, so that's the fun part. To me, that's the victory, and that will lead to, maybe, you know, more stuff that I want to do. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. We left it on the field. That, that is the, the greatness, is like, is if you, if you, director's jail could happen to both of us, there's no doubt, but... It also, the people who respond to the film will know what we do and let us do more of the same, which is exactly. what we want to do. So, it's a you know, that's it. How would you like this film to de define you? I mean, would you just like people to see you as creative, uh, resourceful, outside of the box thinkers? Or do you just, I mean, the, I think, I think, you know, people going to see this film, when they come away from it, they should define us as the two greatest living filmmakers in the history <laughs> of cinema. I think that so, should be natural. So I, 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 I mean, that's pretty obvious. I so. want people Thank to you. know that. <laughs> All right. No, so, I think, I think it'll, it's, a, it's a film that I think the people that love it will love it. The people that don't love it and think we're idiots are never going to change their mind, I don't think. So I, I, I'm happy. I'm fine with that. So next you'll just make something like Godfather 4 and try to go the you know, exact exactly. opposite yes, direction. Exactly. Um, so he talks. See him in touch with you. <laughs> there you go. Like Mario Puzo, where are you? Come back from the dead. Um, so, you, I mean, you've got this film done. You know, you're finally getting this out to the world. What do you guys have next coming out? Um, well, you know, um, in our weird world of um, entertainment, we, Matt and I do have a project that we are getting ready to do, but companies like to announce these things themselves so we can't talk about it so you um, guys are doing something again together we are yeah, doing something sure. again together and we're pretty excited about that and uh you know running funny or die there's always something exciting yeah, and yeah going imagine on that's over a pretty there, amazing so. thing and you know as these things occur where can people find out more about you guys you have like websites or twitters or something that people can none follow for, for a guy that runs a website and for, I, i'm on none of it and and i i I'm happy to embrace the Facebook and Twitter crowd, but I, I tend to keep it pretty low. Profile. I'm not Andrew Steele, so this will be interesting when I'm people not, see I'm it. I'm Matt Pittman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I've, I've, I've created hired, a pseudonym I've, for I've, exactly. I've hired a guy to do this right here. Right, so. right. Oh. We're well, actors from... Uh, yeah. I, I wish you guys the both of luck with uh, Casa de Mi Padre, Great and I look forward show. to seeing Appreciate what's it, next. Yeah. And you. you can find more interviews at MacGuffinPodcast.com. MacGuffin you. Podcast. There you have it.